Hi friends, Mindy here. Today I am sharing with you this spiral bound journaling Bible from Crossway. They sent this Bible to me for review and I wanted to share it with you today. This is the book, um, the books of poetry. So these spiral bound journaling Bibles come, you can get them as a set. It's a five volume set, or you can get this, the books individually. This is the books of poetry. So in here you will find Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, and Song of Solomon. So I really like that it's not just Psalms and Proverbs in the here. Um, and then of course the other volumes are the Pentateuch, the History, prophets and new testament i know that new testament is hard to find right now i believe it's on back order in a lot of places i will say however that those other four books um including this poetry one they do have at by the wolf for god i will put my affiliate link down below and i believe that these are currently on sale but i think that the sale might end today the 21st if you're watching this on the 21st but i know that they do have these bibles in stock a few of them at least um and so i will be sure to link that information down below as well. And I have done a review of the New Testament. It's actually what I've been working in this last month. So I will post that review down there, down in the description as well, if you are interested in checking that out. Um, essentially, everything is going to obviously be the same of this five volume set. Um, but this is, like I mentioned, this is the ESV. Um, and this is basically a literal or word for word translation. And so you can trust for its accuracy. Typically when I am studying, I use a King James version, but I, um, am enjoying working in the ESV for note taking and things. And so, um, I did want to point out the size of this journaling Bible. It's roughly 11 and a half inches tall by about nine and a half from coil to the edge of this, the cover. It is a hardcover journaling Bible, which is great. Um, obviously because it is spiral bound, it's going to lay flat. And because this is the book of books of poetry, you actually end up with just a little bit more space in your margins. So if you are using this as a journaling Bible where you're doing more artwork, um, you're going to end up with a little bit more space than your typical roughly three inch margin um, normally. So you can see the lines, it's very lightly lined. I have found in working with this that a lot, the lines, once you get your artwork on there, if you are doing the artistic version of Bible journaling, um, the artwork just blends in and or the lines just blend into the background. You don't even really notice um, them. But if you are just using this for deep study or note taking, then the lines are going to be very helpful um and but they're not so overpowering i really appreciate like the scale the like gray scale of the line um i know that may sound weird but it's just it's just enough that for that for what you need but not like really overpowering and dark um and i've had other journaling biteables that have been that way that have a really bold line on them um and so that's just one of the things i guess that i notice and appreciate about this one so, um, like I said, most of these are going to give you just a little bit of extra space just because, um, you're dealing with like Psalms and Proverbs. And then you can kind of see back here, I will flip to even the Song of Solomon has a little bit wider margins, but in Ecclesiastes, you have more of that traditional, just single column. And then you're about three inch margin over here. So, um, I will say that I cannot remember the size of the font and I apologize. I should have looked that up before I did this, but it's very easy to read, which is another thing. It's um, not bright white paper. It's like a cream, but it's not like the real yellowy cream either. And so um, that is great. This is the cover of this particular one for the books of poetry. I'll show you the color for the New Testament because like I said, this is the one that I have been using um, this past month as I've been doing a study. And so I really love the colors. I think they're just beautiful. I love how they, um, they work together. So, um, a couple other things that I wanted to mention, of course, um, at the beginning, you have your intro pages and then you have a little bit of information about the ESV. If you wanted to read sort of how that process happened and the footnotes and the publishing team and that all of that information is there in the beginning. And then at the end, there are not a lot of like reference pages in terms of maps and those kinds of things. There is one page of uh, weights and measures, I think is what it is. And um, this is the page that I use for 
doing my pen testing. I'll show you what I did for last month. I'm not going to go through that again. Like I said, I will post the other review as well so that you can kind of see if you're interested in this. Um, and I know that not everybody is going to use this Bible for artwork. Some people are going to use it more as a note-taking Bible. And so I tested probably every single pen that I could think of that I would use um, down here at the bottom. Everything from my most favorite, which is the Sharpie S gel. I tested Tombos and flare pens and different kinds of highlighters. And you can see the paper quality is just so good. There was some um, ink shadowing and bleed through a little bit uh, from some of like my ink pads, but for the most part, it just, everything just worked out really well. And I would encourage you if you are new to Bible journaling, if you um, are new to doing artwork in a Bible, when you're, this question comes up all the time about, um, what can I use that's going to bleed through or what's not going to bleed through, I would just suggest that you test them. And this back page over here on the margin or whatever is just a good place to do that. So um, even on this last, very last page. But other than that, there's really not a lot of other like reference type page notes in this Bible. Um, there are, you know, there are little footnotes here occasionally, um, but it's not really a study Bible in that sense. So um, you're not going to have like your maps and different text things in the back of, of this Bible. Um, and so if that is something that you're looking for, then you may want to go more with like a study type Bible. Um, but for note taking, for Bible journaling, if you like to do... Um, artistic work in your in your Bible, then you can do that if you wanted to, like the more traditional just note taking. I will say, um, like I said, I've been working in this New Testament one. And just to kind of show you, this is one page um, where I did the artwork and you can kind of see that what I was talking about with those lines, they just fade into the background. You don't even notice them unless you're really looking for, for them. And um, things have shadowed a little bit, but they're not um, bleeding through. So you can see here is some writing that I did with one of my S gel pens and it shadows a little bit, but that that's all. So it's really good paper quality. It's really great to work with. Um, I've been having a lot of fun working in this Bible. So I don't think there's anything else that I need to say about this. Like I said, I will also post the link to the video that I did before where I go more in depth about like the inks and that kind of stuff if that's something that you're interested in but um, I did want to share this with you you'll probably see me using this on my channel quite a bit because I really have a project in the Psalms that I'm wanting to um, work through so this is going to be a great Bible I also appreciate that the um, the metal spine is just nice and sturdy but it does have a little bit of give to it so even as I am adding to my pages you can see I have some of these that are pretty bulky actually um, and the spine is still like has enough room in it still so it's not going it hasn't you know gotten really alligator yet um, I guess that just depends on how much you add to it but um, Anyway, if you liked this video, I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you again to Crossway for sending this Bible to me to review. And until next time, bye.